So that's just a cool duo of false ice spots. Around the block a few times. On the periphery. Gorgeous false ice spots. Look at this bug. Hey guys, David Fine here with Keys Moths. We are on our fine family reunion up in Roan Mountain, Tennessee. We're gonna be here for a whole week up in the mountains of Tennessee, lighting for moths. We're gonna have some bait traps and stuff like that. Hope you check it out. This is our first night. We do have a full moon, but we've got lights. So we're gonna go and see how we did on our very first night. Um, guys, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, but let's get to the moths, shall we? We are headed to Tennessee or North Carolina. Babe. Hey, what's did, going on? Uh, did you miss your calling? You should have been a truck driver or something like that. <laughs> you, you drove like like a, like a beast. Hey, anything not to be nauseous. Anything not to be nauseous. Yeah. She does a lot of driving because she gets nauseous. Guys, you guys slept for like eight hours. <laughs> no, let me count. Ten? <laughs> 10 uh, to yeah. popping. 10 to yeah, five, you're already... And then we 10 went to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to 1, 1 to 2. We woke up at 2. Back to bed. 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, 5 to 6, yeah. 6 to 7, 7 to 8. And we slept then, like 10 hours. Yeah, she's yeah. a teacher. Yeah. So, so here's the deal, guys. Um, Krista, you, you have two of the best best little kids ever because... Travelers. We've, we're like... We like I haven't even heard Dominic's voice until North Carolina. <laughs> Dominic, you're you're a good kid, dude, to travel with. You know that? Cause it's yeah, nice. you can, yeah, I know. That's good, man. Give me a dap. Give me a pound. Bam. All right, guys, we're on our way to Tennessee. Uh, fine family reunion. Paisley's in the back. Paisley's back there. Trust us, she is. And um, that's a full van right there, guys. I don't know if you can see all the stuff, but. That's a full van, but we're gonna go up to our fine family reunion. This is gonna be your first fine family reunion uh, as a fine. So this is fine. You've been married for what, <laughs> 14 years? Yes. And uh, first, first family reunion. So, uh, guys, we got we're going up to was it Roan Mountain, right? Yes, sir. What's the name of the place we're staying, Chris? Don't know. <laughs> we're staying somewhere in Tennessee. Johnson City. John by Johnson City, yeah. Um, the fines are waiting. I'm gonna be up there for a week, guys. Um, I'm gonna go do some bug hunting. We're gonna definitely find some bugs. Uh, lots of moths up there. We're gonna brought some mercury vapor lights, some bait traps, some pheromone traps. Um, we may go trout fishing. We'll see how that goes. And um, we're looking forward to it. I know. I think we're definitely going white water rafting. What do you think? Yes. So, all right, guys. All right. So we're about two hours out. If we, we might have to dodge an accident, so says Siri. Uh, yeah, but Freddy might get us there faster on these turns. Yeah, so check this out. This de definitely is not Florida, guys. All right, guys, so first cool bug of the trip. We got a rustic, whoa, rustic sphinx. Beautiful bug, man. Oh, look at that bad boy. Gotta love. Hunting for bugs on gas stations. Look at that. Rustic Sphinx. That's a beauty. Guys, check it out. Here in South Carolina, on our way to Tennessee, got a great bug, first bug of the trip. It's the Rustic Sphinx. <laughs> great big Rustic Sphinx. Guys. Look at this bug. I love coming up to the mountains and stuff. Uh, Southeast United States got some great bugs. We actually have these in the Florida Keys. Um, this is a great big fresh female. So, whoop, there he goes. City. Guys, we are coming. 
coming up to the Tennessee border. We're just about to enter into Tennessee. Sometime or I mean, there it is, guys. Guys, look, Tennessee border. Tennessee border. Yo, yo, yo. All right, folks, so it's night one in Tennessee at our fine family reunion at Rome Mountain. And so what I did was they have this, this little white chapel building at this place that we're at. And it's got an outlet, so it's a perfect place for me to plug my mercury vapor lamp into. And so this is our first night. Unfortunately, we have a full moon, and I couldn't really do much about the time of uh but and that looks like it might be suffering a little bit because of that. Here's some moths. Um, let's see what we got, guys. Pretty looking geometrids. Some geos. Got a couple of uh, Pelicidota, Tessalaris. All right, guys. A little Perala. A couple of these guys. I believe that's a fairly common guy. All right, let's see what else we got here, guys. First little knock to it. It could be a Tataklo. Check the underside air in a minute. And it looks like it's Geometrid City, guys. Oh, there's this cool thing here. Working on that. Geos, geos, geos. That's a beautiful bug right there, guys. Oh, yeah. Deltoid. Fringes. No, no, hardly any Saturn. It's the only Saturn I see is Iowa. Let me get some of this cobweb. Right. So the Iowa moths in South Florida, the males are really rusty brown colored down, in, especially down the Florida Keys, and um, the, the ones up here are a lot more yellow. So that's a big difference. And the bug that we have down in the Florida Keys, but I believe it is still the same species, uh, Maris Io. And there's the Eastern Tent Catathorma. Notodonids. Some Notodonids around. Tussock moth. Dudes, a few Arcteids. Well, guys, I, I gotta say, I hope uh, hope things improve as the uh, week goes on, because there's really not a whole lot of moths. Little tree frog wants to come in and eat my moths. I don't blame you, dude. I get it. I get it. All right, guys, we have our first Sphinx of the night. Is this the yellow one or the pink one? Oh, it's the pink one. Look. There's those big pink eye spots, guys. Isn't he cool? Never get tired of seeing these guys. See if I can 
get him to climb up on here. Yeah. Alright guys. This is a blinded sphinx. They call the blind sphinx. Got these gorgeous false eye spots here on the hind wing. Stunning moth. Um, pretty common in the southeast United States. And um, as you can see, they got some really cool camouflage going on until they want to flash those pink wings, those, those eye spots. So, uh, cool curved abdomen. Yeah, well, thanks for coming to the sheet, buddy. Well, thanks for coming to the light, bud. Appreciate you. Now, I'm going to photograph you. All right, guys. So, both of these bugs are camouflaged. Well, I put the eye moth here, so... Io moth's not super camouflaged at the moment, but you guys know what happens when Io's get <laughs> disturbed. So they've got their eye spot thing going on, and this guy's got his eye spot thing going on. So that's just a cool duo of false eye spots. One of us, one from a sphingid, and the other one from a Saturnid. Oh, that's awesome. Our Io moth is back. I guess he didn't like his little house or resting place on the tree that I gave him. <laughs> He's back for more. Well, one thing when you're out mothing, you always got to look around the grass because you've always got little dudes like this that just never make it over to the wall. And they're hanging out on the periphery, in this case in the grass. In fact, we got a couple guys out here like that. I saw some, yeah. This little dude here, he's warming his jets. Oh, what's that? Oh, Sphinx. Look at this guy. Oh man. Why didn't you never make it to the sheet? Look at you. Oh yeah. Oh. Now you can see all the scales missing from his wings. He's been around the block a few times. All right, guys, well, there's not a whole lot to be excited about, um, but we are going to go take a whole bunch of pictures of some of these mods. We'll post them on our website, uh, get some IDs on them for you here uh, in weeks to come. So I hope you enjoyed. Even even though we didn't get any big sphinxes or uh, saturnids, it's always interesting to see what comes to light. Uh, guys, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and because we're going to have a whole lot more moth collecting adventures coming your way. Uh, we have a website too. It's www.keysmoths.com where we document all of our um, butterfly and moth adventures down in the South Florida and the Florida Keys. Uh, you might want to check that out. So I uh, hope to see you guys next time, guys. Take care.